let's see. Tori Spelling this weekend, well, actually Friday, uploaded a um, podcast and she called Dean McDermott and said, I'm divorcing you. Just with her part of the conversation, it's riveting. You should check it out. Wow. I Thanks mean, for that headline. Well, that's, you know, one of the biggest <laughs> things going on. Rebel Wilson, there's more out there about her no, and her we, book. We need to talk about Tori Spelling at some point because this is one thing I do know. The blind items aren't going to do it because there's really nothing to lie about. Although now watch, there's going to be a Tori Spelling blind item. But it's like th there's no actual blind item necessary because they're telling us everything. And, and more than we want to know. Yeah. Like, I didn't ask. Thank you. Yeah. It's it's one of those things that's kind of like uh, pretty cringy to listen to, but you know, the the show must go on. But of have, course, do you have any blind items, Mike? Oh, I certainly do. Let's okay. get it started. It was a weekend of um, of blind items that we can chat about here today. Let's get things started off with this one: the A minus list reality. Excuse me, the A minus list a literate reality star did indeed sign off on the new project from two individuals tied to the family, but not before rules were put in place. Keep the conversation about the advertised subject matter and nothing more. Hmm. What? So we've got an A minus list, a literate reality star did indeed sign off on the new project from two individuals tied to the family, but not before rules were in place. Keep the conversation on the advertised subject matter and nothing more. Hmm. I feel like this could be a Kim Kardashian situation. It is a uh, a Kardashian situation. Oh, oh, uh -huh. ah, okay. Kendall Kardashian. No, it's Jenner. Um. It, it, so it's a Jason? Chloe? Uh, Chloe. It is Chloe Kardashian. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Chloe, let me continue to fill in the blinds. Chloe uh, did indeed sign off on the new project from two individuals tied to the family, but not before rules were in place. Keep the conversation about the advertised subject matter and nothing more. That's a lot. Almost okay. like a threat. All right. So is, is this a spinoff? Nope. Is it just an ad? Nope. Okay. It's like some kind of business venture or another TV venture. It's a business venture that's not a TV adventure or adventure. Okay. <laughs> or adventure. Okay. It's not like a like brand, like a product thing. Nope. Okay. Oh. They could yield something like that. So okay. Not... See, I thought it was like a yeah, what you were saying, Bradley. Um is this something we've heard about before? I hadn't heard of it, but it's uh, out there. People are aware of it. Okay. Like her getting another gig on a show? No, nope. remember, she's the one who signed off on it. So Khloe Kardashian oh. signed, did indeed sign off on the new project from two individuals tied to the family, but not before rules were put in place. Keep the conversation about the advertised subject matter and nothing more. Oh, about their kids or something? It's not their kids. Scott Disick? Not Scott Disick. Oh, well, then it's Lamar Odom? Oh, okay. You know what Lamar's doing lately? No. no. And who Lamar's working with? Another no. individual tied to the family. A uh, Black Another? China? Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, I do know this. Got there, it's, maybe. It's Lamar and um and Caitlin. Sports talk show. You got oh there. Oh, my God. Yes. What is it? It's, uh, more specifically, it's a podcast. But yes, you nailed every part of that. Nicely done. You guys worked through it well. Uh, filling in the blind item here for uh, you two. Uh, Chloe Kardashian did indeed give uh, her ex-husband, Lamar Odom, and uh, Caitlyn Jenner the uh, green light and their, her blessing about a new sports podcast called Keeping Up With Sports. <laughs> But not before <laughs> rules were put in place. Keep the conversation about that advertised subject matter of sports and nothing more. AKA yeah. don't talk about our family or else mm. we're going to burn that podcast to the ground. Although really, I, I mean, mean, do you do a podcast called keeping up with yeah. sports that brings to mind keeping up with the Kardashians, which probably was negotiated all by Kris Jenner anyway? This is ultimately just going to lead to them talking about the Kardashians more, I imagine. I think Lamar would be least likely to do, do that. I think Caitlyn would. Um, Lamar, pretty much from what my understanding is, he 
sings Chloe's praises for saving his life. And I've never heard, heard him say a bad thing about Chloe. Yeah, all I'm saying is that they're going to talk about the Kardashians. I'm not saying uh, poorly. Yeah. They, in fact, wouldn't because, again, my whole point is just that they're they're the ones that probably created the whole idea. And they're like, well, but, but you're not going to talk about all the bad stuff. Well, of course they're not because they're the ones that created bread this in the butter. first place. That's true. Yeah. But maybe they'll give like juicy, you know, like, because every once in a while, Caitlin will be like, here's a juicy tidbit. And then she'll walk it back. <laughs> and she'll be like, remember Chris that Jenner's Christmas? Like, Did you want the paycheck or not? <laughs> oh, yeah. I wonder if it is a, a Chris Jenner LLC. I mean, no, there is no other LLC for these people. If you are in that universe, it's like the Godfather. You're either in or you're, well, in fact, you're probably never out. Right? <laughs> That's true. The only the only way you get out. out. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Oh boy. So there you go. We've got uh, our Kardashian blind out of the way. Let's move on and do some. It's other been a while. Things. Thanks for that, you Mike. Know, I feel good. like we really don't talk about them anymore. It's Thank true. God. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> uh, let's talk about these uh, individuals. We know exactly why the A minus list, mostly movie actress, is fabricating rivalries, but the latest one is comical. For somebody have an opinion of you, they would have to actually know or think about you. Oh. The A list singer doesn't. Yeah. Say it with me. Rebel, Rebel Wilson. Wilson and Adele. Adele. There you go. Nicely done. Uh, for, you know, uh, sorry, we know exactly why the A minus list, uh, mostly movie actress Rebel Wilson, is fabricating rivalries. That, of course, is because of her new memoir. Well, the latest one is comical for someone to have an opinion of you and, quote, hate you. They would have to actually know or think about you, which Adele I sadly like the way doesn't. That's put. <laughs> Yeah, it really is kind of like, well, you're really reaching there, honey. Uh, like yeah. She doesn't. That's just your thoughts. And it's a story about how they have been compared a lot in the media when they were losing weight. And so Rebel claims that Adele avoids her at, you know, parties or industry events like the plague avoids her but it's like you're just assuming that she's avoiding you because of something that you think in your head yeah i would and it's like she never said that it's a leap i would just take the advice get my name out of your mouth like you don't have any firsthand knowledge to share so you're just telling me what you think now it'd be one thing if you're like in my head i feel like Adele thinks blah 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 like that seems rather innocent like we all have really bizarre conspiracy theories that we write in our own mind mm -hmm. I like to call it writing fiction that's what she's doing like if she owned that like I, I that's feel, my own issue that's like her own thing but to be like I kind of feel like Adele doesn't like me because of the way that I mean all you're doing is giving Adele a huge opportunity to make you look like an ass and she mentioned something like you know, like if she were next to me, my fat would run rub off on her what? somehow. She av she avoids me like the plague and something about like like as if my fatness might rub off on her if she were to be near me. And it's like, um yeah. what? I, I again I don't know why know Adele is a part of this conversation because now I feel like Adele needs to like show up and be like, Dear Rebel Wilson. Starts with an F, ends with a U. <laughs> because like why are you bringing her into this you're not a part of her story or she's not a part of your story no and that's your own insecurities i'm pretty sure sasha baron out. cohen part of your story <laughs> asked you to put a finger in his behind that's a part of your story as a character but in a movie i'm just saying you have the permission to talk about that story because you were in the same room together because he asked you to put a finger there adele did not involve you in this conversation so you don't need to involve her. Yeah, we don't like it. Can you tell? Yeah, but if a few more Adele fans will now pick up that book and make that purchase, you think? Uh, well, that's but exactly. see, that's why she's doing. It. I, no, I don't know if I want to buy this. You're now. absolutely right. It what what I've always said about her is it feels like I get what she's doing. She's just trying to like play the game. Mm -hmm. We're going to release these tidbits for our memoir that are going to drive people to the book. But it's almost for those of us. I'm just like, who are those people who are going to go? Oh, yeah, I want to hear, you know, some will, but I don't feel like a lot of people will because at the end of the day, they maybe didn't have a lot of questions about Rebel Wilson. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's do another one here. 
We'll move on to this one, uh, potentially quick and easy. We'll see, though. Uh, there's some layers to it, though. Uh, the benefits of the fake relationship just continue to get better for this A-list athlete. His whole family and him are uh, landing a reality show on the streamer of the rich guy who desperately wants in the athlete's sports league. So oh, the benefits, a there's a fake relationship and it is uh, proving to get better and better. The, the benefits are for an A-list athlete, his whole family and him have landed a reality show on the streamer of a rich dude who's desperate to get into the athlete sports league. Well, that's Amazon and Jeff Bezos. You got that part. Okay. And of course, the other part would be. It's not Travis Kelsey, is it? Yep. What? Oh, You're telling me what? the relationship is fake? Look at you doing sports news over here. Nicely done. Good job. And of course, the league being the NFL. Yeah, but uh, again, you're implying that relationship is fake. No, the blind items are implying. No, that I know, but I mean, you yes. through the blind items. Yes, yes, that's what the blind items are implying. That is sacrilege. I know. You I can't hate it. Say that. You can't say it. It's awful. It makes me sad. But oh. it's not true. So we'll move on. But oh. no, uh, according to this blind item, again, it's a blind item. The benefits of uh, Travis fake, f- Travis's fake relationship with Taylor Swift uh, continues to get better. Uh, his whole family and him, apparently, according to the blind item, they've got a reality show in the works, and it's going to be at Amazon Prime because, again, uh, Jeff Bezos is doing absolutely anything he possibly can to tie his name and to throw as much money at the NFL and get a part of that um, money-making machine as okay. he possibly can. So there you go. All right. Okay, so what do we think about that? Because to me, again, A, it implies that publicationship, fine. Um, But do we know details about an actual show? Not that I've heard. This is where it all starts. This is where the percolating starts, where we get the blind items and then it becomes a reality. Yeah, but sometimes there's like a story attached. So I was just curious if anybody had like put up, like there had been talk like, oh, the Kelsey... I don't know what are they what what would they even call it? Obviously, keeping up with the Kelseys. Oh yeah, keeping although you can't. Uh, I know. Oh, maybe uh, maybe they haven't trademarked the keeping up with the phrase. Okay, these people Catch- trademark their children. True, they, they did have the show catching Kelsey. Yeah, when they he was did. doing his dating show. So, it was so like maybe a dating it's show catching. It's going to be with a the Kelseys. Cuss. Catching up with the Kelseys. There you go. That's great. Possibly. Okay, I don't know. Again, and that's going to probably be on Amazon Prime if it does indeed happen. And I won't be able to watch it because I won't know how to do that, even though I have Amazon. What are Prime. you talking about? I never watch anything on Amazon Prime. The last <laughs> thing I did is like I think I was ill, and I watched Lord of the Rings. Okay, but th- uh, honestly, that's the last thing I watched. You're trying to tell me that even for a shirtless Jake Gyllenhaal, you won't figure out Amazon Prime. Come on, Roadhouse is on there. Okay. Connor McGregor's Naked Behind. That's true. I mean, okay. I'll probably be able to figure it out. I think we'll be able to figure it out. We'll find out. (laughs) All right, let's do another one here. Uh, Got me again. (laughs) I'm not sure what the agreement is between this A-list actress and the A-list director that helped make her a star, but there must be a lot of dollar signs attached to it as she continues to dish on pretty much everyone else he is never mentioned by her and actually is usually defended whenever someone else brings it up. Oh, so we've got an A minus list actress Mm -hmm. and an A list director who helped make the actress a star. There must be a lot of dollar signs between their quote agreement or the blind item as she continues to dish on everybody else. He is never mentioned by her and she usually defends him. If someone else brings his name up. Oh, defending is that's a that's a aggressive move. So it's not like a Woody Allen thing. It's not. Thank God. Well, and then it's obviously not a Harvey Weinstein thing because ain't nobody defending that. Correct. So is it person. some is the director like infamous for some reason? Nope. I wouldn't say so. Okay. Is it it's not Emma Stone and your ghost Lanthimos? It is not, okay. but good guess. Um a minus list actress and the A list director have uh, who helped make her a star. There must be a lot of money between their agreement because as she continues to dish on everyone else, he is never mentioned by her and usually defended oh. if someone else brings it up. Oh, you got there? Oh wait, so it's not Rebel Wilson. It is not Rebel Wilson. Uh, she, although she is dishing on everybody, yeah, not uh, uh, in this, not this one. Hmm. And weirdly, they they... Villeneuve and Zendaya. No. Uh, Okay, A minus or A list director. Is the A list director like somebody we all love and adore? I wouldn't say love and adore, no. Okay. Um, but it's somebody we're all aware of. Um, is this 
God. Oh, Nightmare uh, Before Christmas and his Helena James Bottom Cameron. Car- Helena Bottom Burton? Carter and no. Tim Burton. Nope. Okay. Not James Cameron. Not James Cameron either. Um Oh, Howie. Um, Howie. Nope. Okay. Anya Taylor Joy and Nope. Ari Aster. No. Nope. Okay. A minus list actress. Is she a superhero? She is not a superhero. Not a superhero. Is she an Academy Award winning actress? She is not an Academy Award winning okay. actress. Okay. Is she popular in the moment? Yeah. Like right now she's like, I mean, big stuff. Sydney Sweeney. She, no, okay. nothing like that. She's definitely not that popular. Oh, okay. She was more popular uh, in a, about 10, 15 years ago. Oh, but she is still popular from a celebrity standpoint. Less movie stuff going on now. Oh, but okay, still, so not Michelle Rodriguez. Nope. Or, okay. Less movie stuff going on right now, but, but still popular talk. just for being a celebrity. I'm a celebrity and I'm talking, but not Very about specific the specific reason why we always talk about her. Oh, oh she's um, entertaining. Depends who you ask. <laughs> it's not Jennifer Lawrence. Nope. <laughs> a good idea where you're talking about she was popular around that okay. same time. Okay, okay. Um, but this person was, and I would even say former A minus list actress, but oh, the blind didn't. That so, we know it's from um, Divergent series and Big Little Lies. Nope. Was stating, or yeah, I'm not sure what the agreement is between the A minus list actress and the A list director that helped make her a star, but there must be a lot of dollar signs attached to it as she continues to dish on everybody else. He is never mentioned by her and usually defended if someone else brings it up. Okay, so does she do TV now? Um, no, not really known for okay. that. Okay, no. she's movies. No, not doing anything. She she's doing a movie occasionally here or there, okay. but nothing like the success that she had 15 years ago when she broke out. Oh, 15. Hmm. Okay, is she? Very good friends with other celebrities. I would imagine. Like she's at, like we're like, oh, it's those guys. I don't think so. Not like that. No, she's not like a it's not like Salma Hayek no, or no. I feel like is this is somebody we talk about quite often oh, in the we blinds. We talk about them quite often mm-hmm. in the blinds. Yep. Oh. Who is it? Oh my gosh. Oh. This is her, I'm drawing a blank. Her breakout role was directed by this actor, which is why the blind sounds oh, the way it does. Or sorry, out. it was directed by this director. Not yeah. Actor. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it was a breakout role. Mm-hmm. And you're all like, oh, you're great. Renee Zellweger, <laughs> not I super- loved you in that movie. It wasn't superhero, but it was um sci-fi. Oh, Jessica Chastain. Oh no. Oh. Amy Adams. Sci-fi. Um, um, it was a breakout sci-fi role. Mm-hmm. Uh, who was in that Channing Tatum movie? Nobody saw Jupiter oh. Rising. No, nope. this was from 15 years ago. The breakout was the breakout. Gosh, was it like a when you say sci-fi, like a series? It's like part of a yep, a series. It's oh, a series, Ridley, and it's a um, Daisy Jones Ridley. Nope, uh, Scott. This was a part of sci-fi, and it was part of a. Uh, a it's a long-running. Can't say that, or I'll just completely give it away. It was um. There's a nostalgic for it in like the Star Trek. 80s. No, oh, in the eighties. Alien, Star Galactica. Sigourney Weaver. Nope. Oh. What did you say, Don? Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> Love that series. Uh, nope. <laughs> Large robotic characters. Large. Oh, it's the Transformers. Transform- oh, Megan Fox. And, and oh, she hates him. Yeah, right. She only defended him when. Oh, I've well, heard her say t- Michael oh. Bay. Sorry, there you go, Michael Bay. You guys got there. There's been a lot of back and forth between them, uh, as well as the fact that there's some rumors in the blind item yeah. that there was some maybe stuff. a relationship yep. early on in the process. She, I, I remember a time where she was just like really hating on. Oh yeah. Him. Yeah. Oh. Okay, she uh, most. And he's like, well, I won't work with her again. Most recently, when she was, uh, he was being called out around her. I think uh, she's actually said that no, because she's kind of defended the fact that nothing um, 
bad has hap- happened on the set. I don't okay. think. Basically saying, no, he yeah. didn't use his power to influence me or to have any sort of relationship no, it with was, me. Oh, it was oh, more those of kind just, of allegations. Yes, the those relationship of was like, I stood up for myself. Correct. I, there, yes, because wasn't there a whole conversation? People were like, girl, read the room. Now is yeah. not the time to talk about how you didn't have to deal with it. Exactly. Yeah, because right. a lot of women have had to deal with it. And that just so, just because you didn't have the experience doesn't yeah. mean other women did yeah. yeah. So she continues to dish on everybody else and uh, apparently hasn't been talking about her, her, which man. Yeah, exactly. So it kind of makes you think, or I not. don't know, according to the blind item, maybe there is something, something in place that they won't talk about it oh, anymore. Oh, boy. I don't know. But also, that's good luck to them. All righty. <laughs> you guys got through that one nicely done. Yeah. Let's do another one here. Took a while. Sorry. It's all good. Don't be sorry for that. It's all good. This A minus list singer is probably going to just endure his terrible marriage. He is getting a front row seat of what a divorce would look like, and it ain't good. Oh. Hmm. A minus list singer. Probably going to endure his terrible, his terrible marriage. <laughs> so depressing. He's uh, getting have a blind item that's like, this guy woke up and he's like, I'm the luckiest performer. Absolutely not. No, <laughs> uh, he's getting a front row seat for what a divorce will look like, and it ain't pretty. Front row seat. Mm-hmm. So Is there divorced? someone in his family that's getting divorced? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, is this a Jonas situation? Oh, Priyanka Nick and, and Priyanka. Nick? Because Joe and Sophie are really at each other. Considering, yeah, I think we're probably geographically both of them would be if there was a divorce to take place. Maybe she would go back home. Maybe he would stay. I don't know. Mm. It probably is one of those situations where much like he's seeing with Joe Jonas and uh, Sophie Turner, the the custody battle would probably be pretty rough for the kids and figuring Mm. out how who's going to live where, who's going to be with who. And uh, according to the blind item, that is why he's going to endure his terrible marriage. Let's keep in mind, though, this is the blind items. And they've been talking about the two of them getting divorced for quite some time. Right. And they just keep posting happy pictures of each other. (laughs) Also, also, don't mess with Priyanka Chopra. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I, well, one to you, Nick Jonas. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just saying she is a far bigger person in this world. Yeah. And I don't think you would win that battle. I I totally agree. And, you know, it's sad if they're having troubles and, you know, they feel trapped, but no, maybe it's think. just better. I don't think they do. To and keep in, it together in, for the kids. In fact, I think like their publicationship has probably always created a distance between them that they're fine with. They were both doing their own thing and they're just happy. It is interesting. We don't often have these like publicationships that the blind items are saying they're going to be breaking up. And then like literally fans are taking to social media, hashtag free Nick. Like, oh, cause that's that still true. happening. That is true. Which no. is just bizarre. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Well, because it's again, can, I, I just think they hate women. Oh, and that's they hate oh, they women of yeah. color for sure. And they hate her because she's from another country. Like, mm-hmm. I just think that's built in. And so you have people that are like, he's well, plus he's younger. Right. There is that whole dynamic yeah. where it was sort of like, you know, oh, that little Nick. Mm. Come on now. Come on, that little Nick. He can really. He's an adult. Yes. Just because he looks, you know, much younger than she is. Although she is older than him. 10 years. Yeah. 41 oh, and 31. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So there you go. You guys got to that one. Not necessarily a difficult one, considering we have it every single day. Let's do another one here. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I'm sorry. It's just they're always in the blinds. That's the worst. All right, let's do another one they here. have been for literally years. Yes. Uh, this will be a quick one here, potentially. There have been discussions already about selling off this cable channel because the CEO of the overall company will do anything he thinks will bring in a buck. So again, we've got a uh, cable channel. Potentially about to be sold because the CEO of the overall company is trying to make a buck. Oh. Is it one that's in trouble? Yep. Is okay. it like a cable news network? Yep. Is it literally the cable news network? Yep. The CNN? Yep. yep. I don't know who the head honcho there is. You do because he's the head honcho of Warner Brothers. Right now, oh. Mr. Z- not Zaz- yep. David Zaslav. David Zaslav. David Zaslav. Okay. Can't like, keep it's it straight. So I know it is. But uh, people. yes, well, he had what's his name under him uh, that got the boot after he got that profile. Was that Zook? No. no that was, was it? 
that was um, before him yeah, before zucker. jeff zucker yeah zucker uh it, i can't remember his name remember. but he got canned because everybody oh. was like it was the old producer from the colbert right he was a producer on colbert, that's right that's right and then yep. he took over cnn and they were like um and so they booted oh. him and now it's just david zaslov kind of looking down Absolutely. So it sounds like there is a chance that uh, we should be on the lookout that maybe uh, CNN will be sold off to uh, somebody else. Of course, we know how much they've been struggling trying to make things work. They've been m- moving mm-hmm. a bunch of things around, and David Zasloff is uh, certainly going to do anything anyone. to make a buck. And of course, he's probably got that reputation, giving all these movies that keep getting produced that they refuse to release and use as tax write offs. Oh my gosh, it's such so a that. bad reputation. Yeah. I just, that whole thing just blows my mind. I know. Like, it's almost like, okay, we're going to make this movie and never release it. Yeah. Like, from the beginning. On yeah, purpose. we're going to start doing that with episodes of our podcast, you guys. We're yeah, not publishing that right. one. It's a tax write-off. <laughs> Can we do that? Let's check into that. Before tomorrow, okay. when we do a whole nother we don't crop have a budget. <laughs> of juicy bits of gossip. When has that stopped us doing anything? That's true. Uh, Mike, thank you for those wonderful blind items. Dear listeners, download wherever you get your podcast. Like, subscribe, tell all your friends about... Blinded, Blinded by, by the, the Idol! Idol.